Hello my loves, welcome back. So by the time you're watching this, it will actually be my birthday. So I thought today would be a perfect day to share with you some of the really cool things that I've been accumulating over the past few months. Some like favorites, some books, some prints, some stationery, just like letters and gifts from you guys. Just loads of really cool stuff that I thought I would share with you today. Uh, you guys know the drill, it's probably gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a chatty one. So get comfortable, um, get a snack probably. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Right, so I thought I would start with books. I am looking into doing a couple of travel journals, maybe of my recent travel to Lisbon. I really wanna be able to document it in a nice book. Um, and I do travel journal a lot, but I thought it would be great to have a look at how other people do their travel journals. So I picked up a couple. This one is Urban Sketching, My Journey to Machu Picchu, Peru by Mike Yoshiaki. Diakubara. Um, it's not exactly what I expected when I ordered it, it's a bit smaller but it's really cool, really lo loads of lovely sketches and just a great tale of his trip. There's some nice photos in here as well. Um, so yeah, that was a nice little peek into um, how one person does their travel journaling. I really like his kind of um, bird's eye views of his hotel rooms, I thought that was a really cool touch as well. Um, and then I also picked up Jason Brooks' New York sketchbook. Now this, um, you guys ask me a lot like um, any book recommendations or how I know what books to look for and I will tell you my secret. Um, Teo Yichi, who has a channel here on YouTube, he also has a blog, he does the most thorough book reviews and just flip throughs. Um, I always just go straight to his blog whenever I'm looking for a new book or if I found a book and I want to know if it's any good, I guarantee he'll have looked at it on there. Different art references and just how to's, all sorts of books on there. Um, I'll leave a link to it below. Also on his YouTube channel, he does like flip throughs of books as well. He's a great guy. He's amazing. Like, I don't know how he has time to do as much as he does. A lot of what he does is just giving back and sharing resources and sharing all the mountain of knowledge that he's accumulated over the years of making art. So I will leave his channel below. I'll leave his blog below. If you're looking for books, have a look. Um, also, whenever I'm shopping for books on Amazon, he always has a review on the books I'm looking at as well. Really, really thorough, great guy. Please do check him out. But yeah, I think one of the books I saw on there, or at least one of the authors that I saw he had featured was um, Jason Brooks, who has this, um, just a really beautiful illustrated book um, about his trips to New York. I, I'll be honest, I haven't read it yet. I just um, been like oring over the pictures, uh, loads of different styles, some really great page layouts, just some great ideas in here uh, and some really beautiful sketches. So I'm loving that. And then another kind of travel journal. And I actually didn't realize this was a travel journal when I bought it. This is About to Leave by Fran. Um, who is also a YouTuber, artist, illustrator, amazing person. I'm sure you know, but she recently came out with the English version of her graphic novel, A Punto de Partir, which I really wanted to pick up um, the Spanish version just to work on my Spanish, but I think that must have sold out years ago. But yes, I picked up the English version and it's just everything that you would expect from Fran. It's full of the most beautiful and quirky artwork, um, really cute. Um, it's just so full of her character and just that you can tell that it's full of love and kindness that she just kind of emulates so the really cool thing about this one was that um when it arrived i actually had a little post-it note from her inside saying that she watches my channel so that um i'll be honest i was like squealing like a child when i saw that a little personal note from fran that's just incredibly special and i will treasure this forever this little post-it note and i will also treasure this forever it's just so good if you guys haven't picked it up yet you really 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 have to um, but yeah, it's like all about her kind of extended honeymoon with Ed um, and their trips from like Berlin to Paris to New York. A really cute story. And if you watch any of Fran's videos, I'm sure like me, you'll be reading this in her voice. And even like when Ed pops up in here, um, reading his bits in his voice as well. So it's really fun. It's just amazing book, really good quality as well. Okay, so this is an interesting one. This is actually from uh, one of you guys. So a girl called Sarah wrote me a really lovely letter and sent along one of her books that she's written. One of my guilty pleasures that I really don't talk about at all is um, booktube. I love watching book reviews on YouTube. I love hearing people talk about books. Um, 
and a lot of it is fiction that they talk about and I don't read a lot of fiction so I'm really looking forward to getting into this I'm saving this for while I'm on holiday um, but I have you know have a, had a little peek um, just trying to avoid spoilers but it just seems really lovely and whimsical she said it's about creative people and that's why she thought I might be really interested in it so thank you so much for this Sarah she also sent a really heartfelt letter um, also your handwriting is not illegible I can read every word of it don't worry I also get comments on my handwriting so I, I feel your pain um, and then also she sent a little drawing of me so um, um, a girl of many talents clearly but yeah thank you so much for this Sarah I really can't wait to read this book I think it'll be a great companion while I'm on holiday uh, as always everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked below all the links and resources and anything that you might be looking for I'll have it linked below please do have a look um, I think the main theme of this video is going to be supporting fellow creatives so if you're interested in getting any new books make sure to have a quick look right so this is an interesting one this is a book of um, skulls i had this in my amazon wish list uh, along with a ton of other books i started listing my amazon wish list in my videos after i did i think a video about another book that i'd read and i said if you're interested in looking at other books that i'm hoping to get then check out my amazon wish list and i thought i might just keep that in there you know just in case anyone spots it but um after that i completely forgot about it i completely forgot that it's even in my description i had never received anything from it i'd never expected anything from it and then completely out of the blue completely unexpected this book just showed up at my door and I'm thinking what I didn't order this even though I really wanted it and yeah it came from Panda Fish so thank you so much for this um, they spotted my uh, Amazon wish list and have just picked out the most beautiful thing for me and I can't wait to get into this and use this book as reference for drawing skulls um, a lot of the books that I have listed in my wish list are just like things for inspiration and reference but yeah this is so so cool it's just full of really cool pictures of all different types of skulls so thank you so much for that panda fish i wish there was a way for me to contact you personally because you also sent this book which is a book that i first saw on roxanne's channel um by bun she mentioned um i think she might have got this from her amazon wish list as well but she had read this book about ending anxiety and stopping panic attacks and I thought that sounds like it would be very useful for me so I put it in my wish list. didn't get a chance to buy it and it's again just showed up on my doorstep and I can't wait to get into this. I know that Roxanne said it was like the best anxiety book she had ever read so really looking forward to getting into this and thank you again so much Panda Fish. I really can't thank you enough. And then the final book that I'm going to be showing you, I'm so excited to finally have this. This is Zoom by Shan, um, who is also known as Fairy Little Peach. I'm sure you know her art. I'm sure you know about her YouTube channel. If you don't, I will have it all linked below. But this is just the most gorgeous children's book I've ever seen. Um, I've been trying to get my hands on one for so long because they just sell out so quickly. But she posted on her Instagram story that they'd restocked and I was just there straight away, like completely in a blur dropped everything I was doing, went and bought it and oh my god I just couldn't be happier. It came packaged so beautifully, the quality of it is just insane, the heart and soul that she's poured into this is unreal and I have to be honest it's taught me so much more about planets than I ever knew and I was actually talking to her about that and she said that one of the reasons she made this is because she never really connected with like maths and science classes at school and you can tell that she has a way of illustrating things and explaining things in a way that makes sense to I guess more creative brains maybe um, because yeah it's even though I am about to turn 25 I didn't know the order of the planets I didn't know which ones were big which ones were small which ones were hot and cold but having read this just once I now know all of those things so thank you Sean, you've taught me a lot but yeah it's just full of unreal unbelievably beautiful drawings and paintings um, she's just so talented and also just a lovely person so great job again this is something that I'm just gonna treasure forever okay next up we will do stationery because it's the closest pile to me now I don't know if this counts as stationery but this is from Sonia who is like a crafter she's a jeweler um, she sells her amazing stuff on Etsy she's also just set up a YouTube channel so I'll have that link below but she sent this birthday box and it's personalized and it's really nicely finished but basically you use it like have it sitting on your desk and use it to write down people's birthdays so that you don't forget she also said you can use it in loads of different ways so I might have it for maybe like all sorts of things that happen year on year maybe holidays or just as like a nice 
companion on my desk to keep a record of things as I go throughout the month. So thank you so much for this, Sonia. As always, I will have the links below. If you're interested in anything, please do check it out. I mean, there's just, it's just insane that so many like talented people not only follow me, but are generous enough to send me the things that they make. So thank you so, so much. Next up are these really cool planners. These are from Anne, who has a, like a Korean stationery shop on Etsy. I love the Korean style of stationery, Japanese as well. It's like really cute and minimal. And so I'm so happy. And obviously you guys know I love planning as well. I've got this monthly planner, which is really cool, nice and minimal. And with loads of space for notes as well, which I love. And then this, oh, I love the color of this. This is a daily planner. And my favorite thing about this, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the pages, like a rainbow. <laughs> I don't know, it's the little things. They really, really do impress me. But yeah, you've got like day to day, you've got your monthly spreads as well. Really, 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 really beautiful. So please do check out her Etsy store as well. There's tons of stuff on there, loads of stuff. I know that there'll be something on there that you'd be interested in. So thank you so much for this, Anne. I hope I'm not talking too quickly. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really, really excited today. I don't know, I'm just feeling good. Like when the sun's out, I feel like I just flourish. Oh yeah, so this is from Justina. Um, and Justina's from Lithuania and she makes these beautiful little canvases. And also this, oh my God, I love this. This is like a tiny pocket sketchbook. It's got that lovely handmade feel to it. Um, great quality uh, watercolor paper in here. I feel like this will be perfect to take with me on holiday just to do some like travel sketching. Perfect size, a nice kind of soft cover to just keep in my bag at all times. I just love the, finishing touches on this that make it feel so unique and um, really nicely crafted. Also just wanna say again, Justina, well done for completing your masters in clinical psychology. Not only are you incredibly talented, you're really super duper clever as well. So well done, great job, you're doing amazing. Ah, right, so this is a cool one, a nice little serendipitous story for you. I had been eyeing up this notebook on Amazon for a long time, this is like, out of this world beautiful. It's obviously a Klimt piece made into a notebook. Um, I've had notebooks by this company before, Flame Tree. They have this really nice like magnetic closing, lovely like off-white paper and like just nice little details like the two ribbons um, and the ribbon matches the notebook really nicely as well. So I've been eyeing it up for a long time. I finally caved and bought it. It was only, I think it was under 10 pounds, which now that I think about it, it's quite a lot for a notebook, but it's really pretty. However, it's kind of too pretty and I felt a lot of pressure. I was thinking I can't use this now because it's so special. So I was thinking about getting another one, which I know just sounds so ridiculous. One, one notebook for show and one to actually use. And then again, out of nowhere, I don't know how all of a sudden people are checking out my Amazon wish list, but I ended up receiving this one. And I love this. This also has another one of Klimt's works on the back, which this one doesn't. This one just repeats the same um, print on the front and back. So this one is from Josh, who left a really lovely message with it as well. I can't wait to start using this. I had the great idea that I'm gonna start using this as my um, gratitude journal because I write um, things that I'm grateful for in my journal every day anyway, but I thought it'd be nice to have somewhere to do it specifically. And the notebook itself is always gonna be a reminder of something that I'm hugely grateful for, which is, you know, you guys and the fact that I've been able to connect with people all around the world and... So I don't know how you read my mind and knew exactly what I wanted, but thank you so much, Josh. Okay, and a final kind of stationary thing. Um, I'm not sure... I'm just looking at myself in the monitor down here, but I'm not sure if you can see it. This over here is my new guillotine. It's a proper heavy duty one. It's massive, it's heavy, it cuts up to A3 paper. I have wanted one of these for so long and I finally bit the bullet and bought one. I think I think it was over hundred pounds, but I've seen Holly Brown using them in her vlogs and she always has the best kit for like making art at home um, and the best videos about it as well if you're interested in making prints and making sketchbooks, making anything. I always go to her channel for that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I thought it's about time instead of using that little slicer that I have and also the um, bigger guillotine that I have because that kind of, it tends to cut quite skew if and it can only cut like three pieces of paper even though it's massive. Um, I thought I would finally get one of those proper heavy duty ones and so far it has just been such a game changer already. It's been so good. I've made a couple of sketchbooks for myself. I can cut down all my paper for my prints all in one. It's changed the game. This is like the fifth 
different type of paper cutter that I've bought and it will be the last one because everything else that I've got is small and flimsy and it works for, you know, a little while and then it's just not kind of sustainable. So this one, this is the way to go. I wish I had bought this a lot sooner. Okay, technology hates me today. Um, I'm trying not to let it uh, dull my shine because I am still in a very good mood today. Um, my camera died, first of all, all of a sudden and didn't tell me. So I don't know how long that hasn't been recording, but hopefully not too much. Hopefully I'll be able to kind of string things together. My microphone ran out of battery. So things are gonna look and sound different probably. But yeah, I've moved on to looking at some prints and some letters that people have sent me um, just I forgot to mention, if you do write me a letter or send me anything, please do leave a way for me to get back in touch with you just to be able to say thanks. I don't always get a chance to feature stuff in video, so I don't wanna leave you hanging, waiting to hear from me just to know if I've received things. Um, I really want you to know just how grateful I am. So I'd love to be able to get in touch with you personally, either through email or through Instagram. So. The first one I opened, this is from Lily. Lily's actually written before and check out how neat her handwriting is. I think I mentioned how neat her handwriting is in the last video where I meant, where she sent me a letter, but I can't get over it. She also sent this really cute vintage postcard. Uh, I would love to put this in a little frame somewhere. I just think it would look really adorable. Uh, but yeah, this is her own art. So please do have a look, check her out. I will leave links below to everyone again. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but yeah, please do have a look. And thank you so much, Lily. Also, she threw in some little stickers and I always love it when people throw in stickers because you can never have too many. Next, this is really wonderfully wrapped. I love this tissue paper, it's so luxurious feeling. And look at this letter that came with a nice little flower decal on it as well. This is from Midnight, who has a very cool name and also very neat handwriting as well. Kind of putting me to shame here, guys. But they have these really cool coffee themed postcards uh, on their Etsy. As you guys know, or you might know, I love coffee. I love a bit of coffee. Probably had a bit too much today and that's why I'm talking so fast. But yeah, these are so lovely and quirky. I love the watercolor work. And just the finish on the postcards is really good as well. Thank you so much, Midnight. Again, beautiful work and beautifully, beautifully packaged. Wow, this is so cool. This is out of this world like first of all look at this art from Nicole it's so colorful and graphic and it just really packs a punch and then the stickers unbelievable I love 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 these ones um I don't know if you guys remember my insect page in my 30 ways to first sketchbook I love drawing insects um I need to get back into that actually but look at these I can't wait to use these also just love the packaging on these this really cute bird. Oh, this these flowers, I love the colors on this one. Just all of them really. I love the colors and the design and the boldness of them. So punchy, I just, oh my God, I can't wait to use these. And then this one, this is an owl. I'm definitely gonna give this to my sister. She's obsessed with owls and she will love this. Oh, little mushroom too. Oh my God, I can't believe all these things, what a treat. And then, how cool is this? Again, loving the packaging. Just the way that people do their packaging and branding is something to something to be admired, definitely. But look at this. Really lovely enamel pin, amazing, really well finished. Just quality, guys, unreal. So thank you so much, Nicole. Um, again, links below, but this is their Instagram, I think. Oh, this one's sweet. I just got this the other day. This is probably my most recent letter. This is a really nice, like heartfelt letter from Victoria. Um, she actually works in retail. She has quite a similar kind of path to me. She's trying to get into the art game and obviously um, has been able to really connect and relate to my videos. Um, I love hearing from you guys about stuff like that. I think it's hard sometimes. Like you guys always thank me for being so open and honest in videos, which I don't really have a problem with until, you know, the more you kind of let your guard down and open up and be vulnerable obviously the more people will kind of dig at you a little bits here and there but it's so worth it to know that like there are people out there that can 100% relate and are so grateful to hear the good and the bad so 
Thank you so much, Victoria. It's so lovely to hear from you. Oh, okay, this is another recent one as well. This is from Lisa, who sent a letter. Um, these are her details, by the way. And these two beautiful prints. I love the colours on these. And this one especially, just the colours really are, are my jam, okay? Uh, I don't want to get too carried away, but yeah, I love this. And she's got a lot of work in like pencils and watercolours. I know that you guys, I know that you guys are gonna love this stuff. So um, I'll have a link to her Instagram below. So thank you, Lisa, thank you for the prints and thank you for the words of encouragement as well. Um, I keep saying, every time I do this, I keep saying I'm gonna set up a gallery wall of all the prints, but I'll be honest with you guys, I have had moving out on my mind for quite a while now. So I can't really settle into changing this space anymore because in my in my mind I'm thinking I'm not going to be here for long so just so you know I am going to hopefully set up a gallery wall at some point but yeah maybe not here oh this is exciting this is the only thing that I haven't opened yet just because it arrived yesterday it was the last thing I was waiting for to film this video <sighs> and you guys will recognize this work. This is from Lee, um, Lee Ellickson, if you don't know who I'm talking about, but uh, I'm sure you do. I, I don't know, she posted a picture on her Instagram of her shark stickers. So I went onto her shop thinking I'll just pick up some shark stickers because they are so cute. And then uh, typical me, I just thought, oh no, I have to buy, I have to buy some more stuff now because everything looks so good. So I can already see <laughs> that there's more in here than what I ordered. So, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, what? She threw in some extra stickers. Oh my God. She said, here are some extra stickies because you're great. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, there's loads. This, this is the one. This is the one that I was going to get as well. But I kind of had to limit myself to how much I was going to buy. Oh my God. These are so cool. So I'm sure you know Lee's work. I will obviously have her YouTube channel link below. I'll have her shop link below. Oh my God, it's even better in person to own this stuff. Like, so this, <laughs> this is what I originally was gonna get, just a couple of shark stickers. And then I had to get the shark print as well. The quality of this is unreal. It's just beautiful. You guys, it's just like, obviously I know I bought this stuff, but like, it feels like such a treat to get some new art things and support your fellow creators. It's just, there's no better feeling, honestly. Ooh. Okay, look at this cool little package. Again, always a sucker for a letter that's been sealed with a little wax stamp thing. Arpine. Um, and not only did they send some of their beautiful watercolour work and this really cool handmade bookmark um, by, you guessed it, by none other than that. So if you don't know, I'm sure you do. Um, I recently got some Hanuman the paper and I'm loving it. And like, I guess, Everything's just kind of coming together. I also got some, they also sent some of these um, mollusks I also recently got into, so I don't know how. I don't know how you guys read my mind, but you always just send me like everything I could ever want. Um, but look at this, I love the colors on this. Belt package, so thank you so much. another beautifully of her own work which has got this really cool kind of intricate watercolory almost anime kind of look to it but a bit more these awesome little stickers of tiny buildings which you guys know I absolutely love these would look so good in my sketchbook wow well, I think these are all stickers very cool. So this is Karina's uh, business card if you want to have a look at some more of her amazing artwork. Thank you so much, Karina. Okay, so this is from Orsolia, who also goes by Imelda, who says that she's a self-taught artist or well, she said it to put it better, um, a YouTube tour artist, which I think a lot of us are nowadays. Um, but she's made, oh my gosh, this is handmade. This beautiful little notebook um, with a lovely like uh, watercolor design on it. 
Oh, loads of cute watercolour prints. Oh, I like that one. That one would definitely look good in a kitchen. Oh my gosh, and a personalised one. Oh. Thank you so much, Imelda. Oh, this one. This is quite an old one, actually. I got this quite a while ago, but this is from Maraid. And she sent... Well, first of all, she sent tons of these stickers, which are so cute and like intricate and adorable and um, they've got all these like Japanese designs on them I can't wait to use these these are so so cool especially these really colorful ones she shares my desire to one day work in a post office she also does envelope art unfortunately um, the postal service decided to put a stamp over your work and then I going even further uh, accidentally ripped the envelope open but this is actually just a little drawing of Martin Luther King's March on Washington um, and from what I can see of it, it looks really, really cool. I've got a really sweet letter here from Eleanor and a couple of little drawings as well. This is actually me. Um, I love the like washi tape design on the shirt um, and also just shout out to the letter as well because I love the colour of the paper and also it's all written in a typewriter which is just such a sweet touch so thank you so much Eleanor. Oh, I've got like a hug in the form of a letter here from Annette from Norway and her cat Mr Johansson. Oh thank you so much Annette, thank you Mr Johansson, love you both. Really really like this one, this is from Mandy, um, she's just starting out as a freelancer and I love 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 these prints. This lovely little series of blue plants in this really cool kind of graphic minimal style. I think these would look great all in a wall like lined up next to each other. Great work, Mandy, thank you so much. Oh, so here's a little something that I bought for myself, a nice little treat. So recently, but not that recently, Sean um, slash Very Little Peach, who I mentioned earlier, she did a video on some artwork and things that she was interested in at the time. So one of the artists that she mentioned was Matt Forsyth, and after checking him out, I knew I needed to get one of his prints as well. So here it is, this is just I chose this one, there were so many on his online shop that I really wanted to get my hands on, but this one was just the one that I had to go for. I love the colours and it's really amazing quality as well. It's always great to have a nice little splurge on some new artwork. Right, so this is from Shaden, who is a freelance illustrator and artist. He's actually starting um, a four year illustration course very soon, so good luck with that. Loving the colours on these already. Um, a lovely selection of prints there and this one has got some really cool uh, metallic detailing on it as well. Thanks so much Shaden. And then there are these awesome stickers, these dinosaur stickers from Amy. The line work on these is unreal, I love it. And then this octopus print as well. Amazing like colours and textures on these. Such cool work, Amy. She's also a fellow Londoner, so respect. And I hope you do set up your own channel soon. I know it is like completely nerve wracking to be on camera, but you'll get into it. And I think that you will thank yourself for it. Right, and also in another video, um, I received a letter from Joey who like put in a little doodle and he ended up writing again and sending. And hopefully I can get this all in frame this really cool graphic print i love this style it would look great like in a comic book i know it's been a bit battered the postal service really didn't treat it very kindly but i know i can put it under some books and flatten it out a bit but amazing work joey and it's really nice to hear from you again all right and our final category is kind of miscellaneous stuff so this really like punchy patterned t-shirt from Kosi. Um, thank you so much for this. As I've said throughout the video, I'll have links below for everyone. Um, she also does photography as well, if you're interested in checking that out. Going with like this African pattern theme. This is from Janelle, really, really special. My sister has already been digging through this and really wants to get some, get her hands on some as well. But I thought I wanted to show you guys first. These, this really awesome collection of uh, earrings and badges. I just love this fabric. 
I'm trying to decide whether or not my favourites are these ones or these ones. She sent some artwork prints. I love the line work and patterns on this one. These little ones of animals and this sweet collection of stickers. Lovely, bold and colourful work. Janelle has been a huge support for me for a long, long time. So it's so great to have this physical token from you as well. So thank you so much, Janelle. Please do check her out and show her some love. I've got this really groovy design pocket mirror as well. This is from Stacey. Again, amazing line work. I mean, it's all different styles, but just the skill that some people have is just unreal. Thank you so much for this, Stacey. And this awesome selection of prints. I know you guys are gonna love this. I've got some like postcard size prints. Beautiful colors and just really intricate watercolor designs. This one is amazing. So much detail. Um, some larger ones as well. This one that goes kind of like from the sky to the sea. And to top it off to go with that lovely leafy design that I showed you, this cushion, which I'm so shocked the quality of this is really amazing. Like this is the best quality cushion I think I've owned. Um, the print quality on it is great, but actually the fabric and the cushion itself so full and thick so I don't know where or how you have these made but these are so good also how cute is this little badge to match the cushion can't believe it um, but these are all from Rach thank you so much Rachel these are awesome and these are all her details if you want to check her out I'm sure you do uh, but that is actually it I say that as if it hasn't been a mammoth of a video already but thank you guys so much obviously as I've said a million billion times, you don't have to send me anything. Just like receiving your comments and messages online is more than enough, but I always do just cherish every single thing that you guys send me um, from letters to prints to cushions. It's just insane. You guys are so talented and so kind, so giving and so creative. Please do um, spread that support amongst the community. Go out and get some prints, get some artwork, support fellow artists and creatives, whether they are writers, whether they're fashion designers, whether they are making cushions or pocket mirrors or prints. Um, I will have links below to everyone and it would be great if you could just extend that love and kindness to them. But yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I know I will be. I love it when my birthday falls on a Friday because it just means that whole weekend is all mine. It's all about me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I actually found this on the street a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't let it touch my mouth, don't worry, but I go through my bag sometimes and I just wonder why I stop and pick this stuff up.